Say that again because you... For, for yeah, well, in other words, for me, it will come and go. So right now, like there's a hearing you talk or being in this experience, it does feel like there's an opening, like there's a letting go, or like what you're talking about is happening. Yeah. Uh, there's hearing you talk and then there's thoughts going, well, you know... But then it's going, well, those thoughts are just thoughts. Yeah. There's also uh, the experience, I guess you'd say, that this will leave at some point. Right. And and you and you have to ask, what is it that's leaving? Because because that's that, that's what I call the oscillation. The oscillation, like a fan, oscillates from left to right. And people report this all the time. And I had the same experience of oscillating, like. The I got it, I lost it syndrome, the sense of it's here, now it's gone. And the question is you have to figure out what are you saying is here? Because if you assign no attributes at all to awareness, if you say nothing about it other than the fact that it's aware, then it can't leave, right? But if you say awareness has certain attributes and, I'm, and I need to have those attributes here in order to be awareness, then you're going to you're set yourself up for the, for the fan flipping. So I always tell people, if you have nice tingly feelings, enjoy those, but see those, those are equal temporary phenomena appearing and disappearing. There's nothing there to hold on to. You didn't bring them about. They're just sort of things that arise through the recognition of awareness, but they're not personal. They're not for your story. There's nothing that you can hold on to. And sort of to see good and bad and positive and negative as equal energies and just notice the tendency of the mind to want to to tell the story that awareness has certain positive attributes. So if you define awareness as like more like pure space, it's not a thing, but it's like pure awakeness, then you've, you've given it no real attributes other than maybe the word pure. <laughs> but if you mm -hmm. just say that it's just awareness, then you know that it can't actually leave. Then what's leaving and coming are, are phenomena, things like, a blissful feeling or a sense yeah. of peace. I have a sense of peace. Um, and then so then when fear arises or doubt, we think that something is lost, but all that's happening is that new phenomena are appearing to awareness. And we're associating the phenomena with awareness, which is the error. And so in a strange way that's so hard to explain, it's when you, when you start to see it that way is when you start to get the, 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 the sense of well-being that's ever-present and the stability, it's that. But what people normally do is they associate the phenomena that they're feeling with the source of the well-being instead of awareness itself, the recognition of awareness as being, and, and the seeing that all appearances are equal, that's where the equanimity and well-being comes from. But people are associating certain feelings and states that they have, you know what I mean, that are temporary arisings. Right. And it's, just, it's very subtle, the mind gets in there and says, that's it. Well, that's what I guess I think I, that's what I'm doing then. So there's a feeling of peacefulness right now. Yeah. So that's not it. No, because it's just like it's something that arises because all the mainly it's just the absence of one thing is the absence of thought. You know, when thought kind of quiets down, there's a sense of peace. Mm -hmm. But still, there's something there that knows that it's peaceful. Like there's something like there's almost like a vibration or a sense of peace, or even the mind comments on it and says that it's peaceful, right? Right. So there's still a conceptual element to it. It's like it, it says this is peaceful. And this is and, how it should be. And this is how it should be, always be. And that's right, which, not it. And, that, and that's not <laughs> it. Because in the next moment, in the world of phenomena, as you know, yes. being, so, being so temporary and so flowing in and out of so many different kinds of dualistic experiences, you know that the next moment could very easily be fear or anger or doubt or confusion. And that's equally phenomena too, just like peace. But awareness doesn't have any attributes itself. It's simply awake to whatever's appearing. So it's awake to the sense that this is a peaceful experience. It's awake to the sense that it's a, um, there's doubt arising, that I'm confused, that I've lost. It's awake to the viewpoint I've lost it. It's awake to the viewpoint this is it. Each of those being equal here in our experience.